Hi guys, what's up? To describe your university laptop as an important piece of kit is one heck of an understatement. For the next three years, it'll be your notepad in lectures, your library buddy, your essay writing companion, a means of communicating with friends and family back home, and perhaps most importantly, your television for binge watching hours of Netflix when you're supposed to be doing any of those other things I've just mentioned. In this video, we will take a look at what I think are the best student laptops of 2021. Before we start, let me know what laptop you are currently using and what is your opinion about it. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the links in the description below. Since this video is dedicated to students, I know what worries us the most. Our wallets are empty most of the time, so we are going to start this list with the best budget laptops. Starting with my personal favorite one, the Asus E410 Intel Celeron N4020. The Asus E410 is a budget laptop designed for the core basics, emails, light work, streaming, and productivity tasks. It's in the competitive space and is a good option if you're looking for a laptop that will get you through the day-to-day -day without breaking the bank. The Asus E410 is made from a plastic body that comes in the three different color options, blue, pink, and white. The shell design of the laptop is the most bizarre thing. It's covered with letters and symbols from the Asus logo. The laptop comes equipped with a VGA camera and a built-in microphone for video calls. The picture quality isn't too bad, but the microphone doesn't pick up everything. If video calls are a big part of your day, I'd recommend purchasing an external webcam and either a headset or a USB microphone. The Asus E410 I tested comes equipped with an Intel Celeron N4020 dual-core processor, paired with a 4GB RAM, 64GB worth of storage, and integrated Intel U Ultra HD 600 graphics. The battery life is one of the standout features of the Asus E410. Asus claims it can last up to 12 hours, and according to my test, it was pretty close to that. Moving forward, for those who want to play games without having to pay over $2,000 for a gaming laptop, we have the Lenovo Legion 515. If you've seen the Legion 5 from last year, this one isn't a whole lot different in terms of aesthetics. And that's probably a good thing since it was so well received. The laptop is entirely made of plastic, with the primary color being a dark blue with Lenovo calls Phantom Blue. The build quality is very solid. No creaks in the casing were detected in my usage. The flex in the chassis was also very good, considering the amount of plastic used. I'm pretty impressed with the how durable and high quality they made this laptop feel. I was pleasantly surprised with the Legion 5's keyboard. It not only had deep travel, but it also felt punchy to type on. The keys even have a decent layout too. It almost feels like a ThinkPad, ThinkPad keyboard, but it's not quite there yet. The Full HD screen on this model is really good. It's 1920 1080px in resolution, IPS, 165Hz with a matte finish. The viewing angles are solid and during my test, I wasn't able to detect any backlight bleeding. There's very little to complain about, especially considering this is an entry-level gaming laptop. Whether it's due to the large size that gives room for a bigger battery, or just greater efficiency in the general design, the Legion 515 has a long battery life for a gaming laptop, lasting 6 hours and 14 minutes over continuous video streams and web browsing that's as good as it can get. The Lenovo Legion 515 is hands down one of the best mid-range gaming laptops right now. That can absolutely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with its better-known gaming peers. Where it falls short of the absolute best, it outperforms the rest in its category and taken overall, its reasonable price makes it hard to find better value. Up next, we have an amazing laptop from Apple, the MacBook 13 with the M1 chip. The MacBook Pro with M1 is a laptop with an unbeatable combo of power and endurance, making it one of the best laptops you can buy right now. There was nothing modest about the way Apple talked up the CPU, GPU performance of the M1 chip. Luckily, the machine doesn't disappoint. Film and broadcast majors would be delighted to know that the 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro can keep up with 8K editing on the updated Final Cut Pro. You'll be able to seamlessly scrub through the footage while previewing at the same time without 
the app crashing on you. Even if you're majoring in something that doesn't require video editing or 3D rendering, though you'll find great benefit from the speed and power pack by the M1 powered machine. You know that cathartic feeling you get when you close multiple tabs after turning in a paper or an assignment? The M1 powered MacBook Pro makes it a lot more satisfying by allowing you to work with a blip even with 100 plus different Safari or Google Chrome tabs open at the same time. The Magic Keyboard is truly magical to touch in the, its comfort and precision, unlike the old butterfly which is prone to sticky keys. Of course, the deck also comes with sleek backlighting with an ambient light sensor providing ample illumination for late night study sessions. Meanwhile, the 4.8 to 3.2 trackpad is just as responsive as ever, offering little to no incentive to buy a separate external mouse or trackpad unless you need it for easier editing, graphic design or gaming. There really is no question about the unparalleled power and performance of the M1 chip powered 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's an excellent study buddy for college students just as long as they can afford one. All right, if you have some extra money and want a laptop that is very lightweight, has a long battery life and offers a lot of things, then the Dell XPS 13 9310 is a no brainer. With eye-catching good looks, a gorgeous display, and excellent build quality, the Dell XPS 13 is one of the finest ultrabooks on the market today. An addition of a faster processor makes this upgraded version capable of resource-heavy tasks such, such as Photoshop, video editing, etc. The Dell XPS 13 is quite stunningly beautiful. That may sound like a hyperbole, but hand on heart, this ultra-thin laptop has wow-factor looks that are certainly on a par with, say, a MacBook Pro. In fact, I'd wager some people will buy it for its aesthetic appeal alone. Basically, take this into a meeting, and colleagues and clients will know you mean business. The Dell XPS 13 model I own boasts an Intel Core i7-11 65G7 processor, which boasts 4 cores and 8 threads, with a turbo clock speed of 4.7 GHz, 12 MB of smart cache, and Intel Iris Xe integrated graphics. Sounds good in theory, yet in practice, powerful chips don't always translate into the uh, performance you expect. It's also about how cleverly they play with the rest of the components in the system. So it's a good sign that with this laptop comes with an Evo badge. That's part of an Intel certification program, which signifies that Intel worked closely with Intel to develop this device and squeeze maximum power out of the processor. The i7-1165G7 configuration of the Dell XPS 13 doesn't just make for the better performance and graphics, it also increases the battery life. Not massively, so I wouldn't recommend the upgrade for this reason alone, but it is a significant boost. Meanwhile, running a downloaded Netflix movie on repeat at maximum brightness and with sound going through headphones, the Dell XPS 13 kept going for a satisfying 9 hours and 28 minutes, which bodes well for anyone with a long train journey or flight in their future. For all you students out there who want to relieve some stress from all of those tiring study hours and want to enjoy some gamers, I have the Acer Predator Helios 300. I am pleasantly impressed with the Helios performance for the price it has. This is a powerful machine for a budget gaming laptop. It can handle the most demanding games at the medium to high settings. It has a refresh rate of 144 Hz, which you'll rarely see in gaming laptops of its kind, and it has a crisp 1080p uh, display with a true to life color palette. I can't find fault in the Acer Predator Helios 300's design. It's nothing amazing and hardly a standout, but it's not poor either. This gaming laptop does try to stick to the gamer aesthetics. With its metal chassis in a gunmetal finish, black color with red accents and geometric cuts and tapered edges. Acer Predator Helios 300 has a 15.60 inch display that has a resolution of 1920 to 1080 pixels. It comes with 16 gigabyte of RAM. The Acer Predator Helios 300 packs one terabyte of HDD storage and 256 gigabyte of SSD storage. Graphics are powered by NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. Connectivity options include Wi-Fi 802.11, 
Bluetooth, and it comes with a four USB ports. It has an Intel Core i7 11800H, which is a high-end octa-core for gaming laptops and mobile workstations. It belongs to the Tiger Lake H45 family and was announced in mid-2021. It integrates eight Willowcov processor cores, 16 threads thanks to hyper-threading. The base clock speed depends on the TDP setting and it's 2.3 GHz at 45 W. The single core boost can be as high as 4.6 GHz, while all cores can run at up to 4.2 GHz. It's almost amazing that 7.5 hours of battery life is unremarkable for 15.6 inch gaming laptops. But that's how far the bar has been raised from the old days when gaming rigs were lucky to last for 90 minutes. Nonetheless, Acer deserves commendation for significantly boosting the runtime over its processors. Alright guys, we've come to the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, peace out.